Level 69. The Road Trip of Affliction. Survival Difficulty Class Undetermined. Mysterious Properties. Unknown Information. Undocumented Entities. Level 69 is the 70th level of the backrooms. A deserted, infinite highway shrouded in thick fog and pitch darkness. Anyone that finds their way into this level must stay in the car. They began in a parish. Note. Any joking around about this level's number being the number 69 will not be tolerated. This information is much too important for readers to be acting like a 12 year old. Thank you. Description. This level is an infinite highway with tall, weathered, concrete walls at its sides. It appears to have been long abandoned. The highway is completely devoid of vehicles or any sign of civilization except for the fact that it is a highway. Your vision will be very limited because of the strange fog slash mist that will surround you. Except for special circumstances, the only light you'll encounter will be the light you produce yourself. Colonies and Outposts There are no known colonies or outposts on this level. No attempts have been made to create a permanent outpost on this level as its environment does not seem to be suitable for one. Starting out and navigating the level. The beginning of level 69 is always the same for everyone. You will wake up inside the vehicle you passed out in on level 3, see the entrances section for how you get to the point. For the rare occurrences of getting to level 69 where you did not enter a car, you will wake up in a random one. Your car will be positioned randomly on the highway and can even be flipped on its side or upside down sometimes. Do not exit your vehicle. Your car is the safest place you could possibly be in level 69. It actually is probably the only safe place in the level. Cars are the only place you will be free from entities and fog. Leaving it is risky and dangerous. If you must get out of your car, stay as near to it as possible. The fog in the majority of entities in level 69 seem to avoid cars at all costs. The common belief is that the entities in level 69 fear vehicles. Entities behaviors near vehicles may be researched in the future for various purposes that will not be disclosed. Revised information. Permission required for access. Your car will hopefully be in satisfactory condition when you first reawaken. However, the car's air conditioner, center console, windows, lights, etc. might be broken or not function properly. It all depends on luck. God help you if you become stranded because an essential part of your car is damaged from the start. Driving your vehicle should not be difficult. The controls will be very familiar as they are almost the exact same as cars in the front rooms. Do not worry about fuel. The cars in this level do not require any. In fact, there does not seem to be a fuel tank in any of them. The rest of the car's inner workings are abstract and their functions are in the process of being figured out. Oddly enough, driving at high speeds is not very dangerous. Encounters with solid objects, entities, or other people's cars are so rare that you will not need to worry about crashing much. You can drive at top speed for hours, days, weeks, or even longer and not pass a single object or ground-based entity. Unfortunately, if you do end up crashing it will still most likely result in death. You will either have to drive carefully and waste a lot of time, or travel dangerously but quickly. Supplies are scarce and you'll want to find an exit as soon as possible or risk starvation etc. But driving quickly is risky. Entities. Basic Entities. Although extremely rarely, one might encounter smilers or insanities in level 69. Both are much more hostile than normal. For smilers, it is because they find prey so rarely in level 69. For insanities, they have almost reached a new level of insanity because of being unable to see anything through that darkness and the fog for such long periods of time. Do not park your car for too long or one of them might find you and break into your car. There is a chance you'll crash into one of them since you cannot see them through the thick fog. It is actually the most dangerous part of them roaming level 69. The beams from above. These entities are the most mysterious and dangerous entities that inhabit level 69 by far. They are the main reason you should not leave your car. Descriptions of them say there are appendages that look similar to spiders and crabs legs. They are not visible normally but when a person exits their car, many will swiftly and silently descend from the darkness above. If the targeted person does not return to their car or get to a safe place soon enough, they will be captured by this entity. They will be grabbed or their body will sometimes be speared by this entity, then be lifted up into the void above. The fate of people that have been taken is unknown. It is almost impossible to escape once one of these entities have gotten a hold of you. They are extremely strong. The few people that have survived being captured by this entity have described it as cold, slick, and completely solid. All attempts at killing one of these beings from above have failed. They seem resistant to all attacks, even gunshots and explosions. 
there had been no encounters of any of them being dead. Very little information is known about them except for their appearance and attack methods. Never risk interacting with one. The Whispers. Although not confirmed as an actual entity, something commonly encountered in level 69 are the Whispers. These are intrusive, negative, thoughts that try to wear down a person's mental state. These thoughts have been confirmed to not be one's own. The same messages play in the minds of everyone in an area of the exact same time. Recorded experiences of the whispers have shown a similarity to mockers. Sometimes, a thought coming from the whispers were the exact same phrases that mockers have been known to say. Any relationship between the whispers and mockers are not confirmed. Entrances and Exits Entrances The most common entrances to level 69 are in level 3. Very rarely, a person can find an unmarked door which leads into a small, octagonal room. The room will be empty except for a single, oddly placed car. Where these cars came from and how they were able to be put in the room is unknown. It would be impossible to fit the car through the door and there are no other entrances to the room. The car's model will vary, but none of the cars that have been discovered in these rooms are of any recognizable brand or model. When a person enters one of the cars, they will become dizzy and will lose consciousness within minutes as long as they stay inside the car. Exactly 7 seconds after everyone in the car loses consciousness, both the car and anyone inside will disappear from level 3 without a trace. When they wake up they will be in level 69 in the car, they were running with whatever was in the car. The other confirmed entrance occurs in level 6, level 8, level 23, and level 33, in the level's extreme corrosion state, at at least 500 miles in. Entering this way is usually accidental. There are no known causes of its occurrence. A person will simply fall through the floor as if it were not there and disappear, instantly losing consciousness. Once again, they will wake up in level 69 in a random car. There had been six reports of people vanishing to level 69 immediately after drinking almond water. The reports are currently being investigated. Exits. The most common exits can be found easily if you drive long enough. Although it usually takes a large amount of traveling to find one of these exits, they are easy to find as long as you pay attention at all times. These exits will simply be an out of place tunnel perpendicular to the highway. They are very easy to spot unless you drive too close to the center of the highway or not focusing on your surroundings enough. Once you enter, you must drive through the tunnel for approximately 17 hours. This tunnel is a one lane road and is completely safe. You will notice the fog slowly disappear and the lights at the tunnel's roof will begin to turn on. When you reach the 17 hour mark, your car will begin to break down until it no longer works. Attempting to drive it after it stops working for too long will cause the car to catch fire and possibly explode. You will have to walk the rest of the way out of the tunnel. This tunnel leads to level 11. Do not try to walk back into the tunnel once you leave it. The ones that have tried have never returned. The tunnel usually disappears after you exit it and once it is no longer in sight. Another exit is simply no clipping through one of the concrete walls on the highway side. This isn't easy to do and wastes a lot of time to search for the right places. If you do succeed, you will appear in level 22 with your car parked in a parking space. Again, your car will no longer work at that point. There had been rumors that someone has no clipped through one of the walls while not in a car and ended up in level 4, but it is only a rumor for now. The final although unconfirmed exit is that you will lose consciousness after being captured by a beam from above, then wake up back in level 0. Multiple people have claimed to have exited this way, although all of them have very little sanity and no proof.